Ron Perlman here is doing something wonderful for the city. Heart disease is the thing that kills most people. And he decided that he wanted to help support making our heart program at New York Presbyterian the very best it can be. Starting from a great position, but elevating that care, making it more compassionate, more caring, more technologically advanced. This is a wonderful step forward for this institution. It was during my baby shower. Um, my aunt asked me to move a chair, and I went to bend and move it, and I felt a strange pop in my chest, followed by severe pain. She gave me a call. I asked her to come to the emergency room. But I kind of insisted on doing a CT angiogram. I, at first, said no. I didn't want any radiation to hurt the baby, and he insisted. I got a call from the radiologist saying there's a large type 1 aortic dissection. When you see the nurse crying when they deliver the news and tears in your doctor's eyes, then, yeah. you know, it's something pretty serious. Yeah, the thing I really can't erase from my memory is seeing the look of death in everyone's eyes. I spoke to a cardiovascular surgeon who suggested that there are three people in the United States he would trust his wife with. One of them was Dr. Girardi at New York Presbyterian Hospital. You know, from the minute a patient dissects until they get to the operating room, the risk for dying is 1% per hour. So they took her in a helicopter about 20 minutes later and, and flew her to, to New York Presbyterian. We need to stabilize her and we needed to get her safely and quickly to the OR at New York Presbyterian to save her and the baby's life. Patients that come here to feel comfortable with the concept that no matter what kind of problem they have, they will receive the best care that they can get any place in the world. Even though we're doing, we're, we'll do our 30,000th patient, we want that same special caring that the old family practitioner had. I was so scared, but he walked in and I felt like, I just felt peace. They're putting their life in your hands and you have to always respect that. You know, once we had Julie sort of ready to go onto the heart and lung machine, then we had to step back and wait and now deliver the baby. And all of a sudden, hey, you have a son and a wife going through heart surgery. So it was, it was just difficult to grasp the fact that he was here and he was my son. And Everybody did their job. Everybody did a great job. Our focus is really to provide comprehensive, individualized care for every patient. So if this clots off, with it, which it could at any time, he would not survive that obstruction. It's a good pickup by the cardiologist. Cardiology is one of the disciplines where there's a very quick translation between basic research and clinical application. We're very great at taking care of our patients and treating heart attacks but there's so much we can do to prevent disease. Definitely, I'm very thankful that there are places like New York Presbyterian, and I'm thankful that there are people like Dr. Siegel who know to refer you to there. I never once questioned I wasn't in the best place. Oh, it's just, it's priceless. I mean, just every little moment with him is a gift. And that's partly because of Dr. Girardi and Dr. Siegel and New York Presbyterian.